Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. I'm trying to get into the algorithm. 1,000 subs, 4,000 hours of view time. Let's get it going. guys here we are at the halfway point of our project Cody is working on the outlet up there for the projector so putting that outlet in the back wall uh, HDMI we have to have another hole next to where the HDMI can come out of where's the HDMI for that Cody for the projector. Like yeah I thought we already ran it. No, we haven't yet. Okay. so yeah we'll run that one uh, all the speakers are in we actually utilize this crown molding so we cut a hole in up there I use this crown molding to run all new wires for the side left there, for the LCR for left, center, and right. Drop the new sub line right there in the corner so you can get a little closer to this outlet. Ran a whole new line over here to that speaker as well. And then all we got next to, left to do here is carpet the platform and pop the back speaker in. He wanted this platform, I said earlier, to be extended, so Warren built this box. We're going to screw this box right here and put a curtain over the top of this. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get the screen built. Mercedes is programming the remote and keep this going. There's, it's like seeing a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Manual labor. This is what that thing that's going on causes everybody to do. Even Warren's out here working again. <laughs> Alright guys, for uh, installers and DIY guys, for yourself, so if you're trying to move a speaker or line up two speakers, instead of trying to do all this crazy measuring from the back wall and from the side walls, what we always do is we'll find the stud, like you saw on that video, we'll find the stud, we'll cut to that stud, measure over from one side wall, and then measure over from this side wall, find that stud, and cut to it. So the speakers will always be in a line. If, the, the studs up top are almost always dead straight. So this will keep our speakers perfectly in line up there every time. That's just like a quick little shortcut and tip for you guys at home or for your installers out there to get these things lined up perfectly every time. Keep it going. Drill me, bro. What a sucker. We want to put one speaker here because we definitely don't want it to be um, on this inside area. It'll put the rears too close together. So we're going to go ahead and mount the speaker in this section here. So what I've done is I built a box. So this is a box exactly fitted for the CS16. It's ported on the bottom and it's basically we're going to use these strong Spax bolts. Um, these are from the Depot. We're going to use these strong Spax bolts to actually screw into the stud on the door frame. Then we're going to use a black fabric, I mean a, a blue fabric to actually cover the rest of the door frame and make everything look nice and clean. All right, guys, Cody and Mercedes just finished their screen. It's a 161 inch custom curved. It's one of the larger ones we've done recently. Back behind this screen, didn't talk about these yet, but we have DS 250s on the left and the right, and then a Pro 8000L, THX 8000L right there. 
So yeah, we're gonna get this screen mounted up and projector mounted next and get it tuned up. Let's get it done. What's up, YouTube? Oh, yeah. Hey, Derek, can you uh, help me out with the sub? Right then, the greatest thing about the new Clip subs is that every one of them comes with a free girl. <laughs> every one of them comes with a, like a woman in the box. Like, it's amazing. For, this is the, uh, that's the SPL 120 right there. See, there's the box, yeah, SPL 120. Can you show us a little demo? Boom, 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 <laughs> there you go. There's the demo. <laughs> all right guys, uh, tuning and calibration is all done, so let's get a demo. Alright guys, we are 100% finished with this one, so let's give you a walkthrough. So, up there is a 161 inch custom curved screen. Take a look at this bad boy. Divine AV special right there. 161 inch. Behind that screen, DS250s on the left and the right of this acoustic transparent screen, as well as an 8000L for the center. SPL120 right there. C16s for the left and the right. Back left, back right, also C16s. And then we have C16 overheads. And as you saw before, we added this cool curtain and made this custom box. That blacks out, that looks great. Go check out the closet. Oh yeah, Epson 4050 for projection, of course. Checking out the closet here. Got the Yamaha 2080 in here. Got our power all mounted up there. Logitech Harmony, Apple TV for now. He's getting the Roku Ultra. And gonna add an Xbox One S later as well. And yeah, got all our outlets added for the platform. Outlet there. We they just covered up the existing two. And we added that third outlet there. One up here. One for the projector, one for the rack. Cool. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching this one. Please like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.